So they actually forgot who you are, right? Huh? Huh? The poison, the poison that they gave you, they forgot who you are. Listen very well, yeah. Let me tell you something, yeah. I want you to listen to this, yeah. I want to talk to someone special, yeah. Listen, yeah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah, I come to tell you something. You knew this, okay? You knew this, you will know what I'm talking about. But, unfortunately... Maybe you kind of underestimated yourself like they underestimated you. Let me tell you one thing. I usually like giving an advice that, you know what, in life I've learned that it is pointless to keep on fighting people physically because even if you beat them, there will always be someone tomorrow to challenge you. And it's unfortunate if you keep on fighting, one might end up beating you up, even killing you. Or if not... You kill them, you get arrested. That's the end of your life. You know what I'm saying? There is always someone who will be ready to think they can take you on, no matter how many people you may defeat. Yes, you'll be feared, but there will always be that one stubborn person say, now me, I can take you on. I have, I have. So you only, the best thing to do is to retire from that life on your own and be like, you know what? This is not worth it. That's who you are, right? So now I want you to understand something right now. In this life, I remember when I, uh, I would watch wrestling as a young boy, before I could even understand that even wrestling is uh, scripted. I used to look at The Undertaker. Most of you know The Undertaker from wrestling. And the way in which you know how beating up you always win matches, how dangerous he was and scary and all these things. So whenever someone will provoke him, I'll be like, why are, are these people crazy? They know what is capable of. What are they trying to achieve? They don't know. They forgot who the Undertaker is. What he does. You get what I'm saying? So other than wrestling that is scripted, let us look at even boxing. How many or fighting, whether it's UFC, picture anything. But let's go to boxing. Let me give you an example with Floyd Mayweather. It's a perfect example because he's been undefeated. How many people kept on challenging him? Many tried. Even Logan Paul, who is not even a boxer, tried to take him on. Let me tell you something. They will keep on challenging you. They will keep on trying you. They will keep on thinking that they will be the one. They will be the only one. The one to finally defeat Floyd Mayweather. The one, if I can defeat this one, I will make a name for myself. There's always someone willing to take a risk. So that is why no matter how anointed you may be, no matter how protected the, under the shadow of the Almighty you will be, there will always be someone who can thinks that they can face the Almighty. There is always someone who can try to fight you. I don't recall in the Bible where people surrendered all that you know what we won't fight david because he's under god there will always be one uh tribe that thinks that they can defeat they can, that thinks that his god is not even god they will try to poison you they've been trying to poison you that is why sometimes you know one day we're gonna find out in fact right now i am convinced there is a conviction that someone watching right now, like you are in this point where you were once poisoned and you are well aware, but you survived. And I think in this video, you are a perfect example of what I'm talking about. And with this being like this, there is a conviction that most of us, probably even me, who survived deadly poisons. And one, one of the things that God is going to show us one day and we're going to regret, especially if we, we really messed up in heaven... Oh my God, we look back and be like, yo, so these are all the things that she had given me. And these are all the things that I have missed from enjoying while I was still on earth. Lord, how come? And God says, you are just ignorant. You thought I don't love you. You were supposed to have died from that poison. This is supposed to have happened. You see how much I was with you. All I needed was you to trust in me. All I needed was for you to be patient. All I needed was for you, oh... To pray often. And allow me to tell you. That your enemies they forget who you are. 
That is why sometimes when you achieve greater things in life, there be those that still hate on you. That is why there are those that when you achieve greater things, they look down on you. There are people who actually forget who you are. And let me use myself as an example, you know, because I'm remembering something. I remember there was a time when I would be in the university. People knew that I'm a Christian. People knew that I'm a, uh, a man of God. They knew that I could preach my friends for that matter. Okay. And the thing that they portrayed to me, they would show me that, oh, they, they fear my God. I remember one time one of my friends once said that, yo, if this does not work out for us, I mean, if this thing does not work out for you, how much more with us, who, who, you being more closer to God and things don't turn out well, ah, oh, then there is no hope for us. Almost like that saying that goes like, some people be like, if one day we'll be queuing for a queue to enter heaven or hell and we see someone or uh, this person also being turned from entering the gates of heaven, ah, uh, some of um, us will just also turn back because if that one did, could not make it to heaven, how much more with us? So it's almost that saying, okay? So I would hear some of them looking at me like that. But sometimes to my surprise, I would realize sometime later when then the things, amazing things, my life will advance, to put it simple, they, they will be the very first people to undermine me. They will be the very first, pe first people to think they can compete with me, to display that they, be, they are competing with me. They can do what I can do. So that showed me that it's not a matter of being motivated. It's not a matter of uh, just inspired. You know, there is a difference between someone being motivated and someone who's just competing with you, thinking they're better than you, right? Yeah. So that's the thing. I would say that this is just a display that, you know what? You, are, uh, you, you can't do this better than me. You can't score higher marks than me. But there are those that you respect, even when they do so, like, wow, I'm motivated. Ah, you, you got what I'm saying? So then I was like, I could just see that they are looking at me like we're in the same category. Not that I was praising myself, but then I could just see that I'm being looked down on. If you can do this, I can also do it. That's the competition thing. That is why the very same people, if you are to overtake them, they end up hating you to show that it was not a matter of motivation. It was a matter of looking down on you, thinking they are better than you. And I want to tell you that that's the same thing. They feed you with poison. They do wicked stuff. And when they see like it is not working, they try to sabotage you. And then they begin to realize what the... They forgot that, wait a minute, this is not a mere human being. Dude, don't, don't, don't you know where it's coming from? Where it started? And some, there comes a time where they remember that, oh, but this person has always been like this. I remember, I remember, I remember they did. Like, oh, I guess it is finally manifesting in a bigger way now. And the Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, is going to remind all your doubters who you are. Let them try to set traps. Let them try to bewitch you. Every form of poison, whether spiritually or physically, it will not work against you. I decree and I declare, they shall know and remember who you are in Christ. I decree and I declare and I pray for you. Let every poison that they have put inside you, let every trap that they have set against you be removed completely in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.